forget, if Kapuzin wins this heat, she will be crowned world champion, the athlete out there on your screen. And here we can see the boys. Gabriel Bennett in there with the phone. On the left-hand side, Pedro Matos, who obviously didn't have any breakfast. Gilly Brandao there in the middle. Sofia Abreu. And we can see all of the boys. So Pedro Matos, he's hungry. Ten hambre, Pedro. Watch out. I'm going to call in the Barracuda from now on. All right, so I can inform on scores. At the moment, it is Capucine Delanois in the lead with an 8.97. Jasmine now in second position with a All right, so it looks like we have an issue with the timer, but scores are there, so we're going to put these on your screen. Here you can see Capucine Delanois with an 8.97, Jasmina Bougenau a Ah, oh, Brazil, 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 Brazil. Kessiani getting ready. She's going to be out there in the mini final. And we can see Luana as well cheering on with the Brazilian flag as we get ready to rumble. Here we have Capuzine Delanoir dropping in. She is in the driving seat so far. As it stands, we have a six waves from Bougenau and three waves from Capuzine. Jasmina is really going to have to be careful as she has only four waves to go. She needs to select the good ones. As we can see, Capucine there with that 5.0. We've seen it before, but you know, anything is possible. Big off the top. Nice turn here. Can she link it into a second? Big driving turn. Cut back in herself back down the line. All right. Just getting a few nice little snaps. And as she comes down, that wave just breaking out in front of her. Let's see Capucine as well. Check turn number one. It's pretty much only at the very bottom where they actually get some verticality in the wave. And there we can see it looks like the timer is res resolved. All right, and here we can see Nikola Dazieva. Getting himself ready. Your Red Bull athlete representing that. Roberto Ricci Designs. Living a lot of time out there in my hometown of Tarifa. Such a cool guy in, on and off the water. And this boy rips on the wave. So he's getting ready as that heat number three of the men will be coming up next. But as we stand so far, it is Jasmine Bougenau and Capucine de la Noire. Sebastian Ribeiro getting ready as he has the vibes. I wonder what he is listening to. Maybe a little bit of rumba, maybe a little bit of salsa, maybe Enrique Iglesias' hero. Who knows? Reggaeton. I would like to see. We'll try and get that info. Guys and girls, what do you listen to when it comes to your playlist before you go out for a good session? What are the vibes? And here we can see the eye in the sky as your competition area here for your Copper Kitely GKA Kite Surf World Cup. And the athletes out there getting ready to go. So far, it is Capuzine Delanois is ever so close. She is under eight minutes to be crowned world champion if she can keep the lead in this heat.
Here, a little bit of the old killers, Mr. Brightside going on outside. Now we're talking. I'm going to say that is one of my favourite all-time songs. Uh, it's definitely a song that gets put on the old headphones when we need to get some motivation. As both of the athletes right now battling out and waiting for that set. Jasmina had 13.6s at the beginning of this competition. She is definitely the underdog to watch out for. Uh, at the moment, Capuzin just having the upper hand with that 5.0. Plenty of time. Seven minutes to go. We will find out who is going to be the winner of this heat. Now on the white Lyca right now, here we can see Jasmina just about to drop in. Jasmina here, two decent, decent hacks, looking to improve on that 3.27. And really making the most of that little ankle biter. Here we can see Nicola getting ready. Out there with the new gold religion, the Alula Kite from Roberto Ricci Designs. Your Red Bull athlete is in the, the heat that is coming up next. All right, Capuzin off the top. Here we go. Looping that kite around. Nice timing here from the French athlete. Wax it in. Wave is about as flat as it can get. But using the power, pulling that kite the other way to make sure that she stays on it. There's a better turn. Oh, just keeps it together. Capuzin Delanois right now. She's on a path, and she's on a path to victory. A little tail slide there at the end. On the flats, 10.47 so far for Capucine de Lenoir. Will that increase? We will soon find out. And two more ways for Jasmina. Two more ways as she is at wave count number eight. Only 10 waves allowed. And it is looking like Capucine is going to improve on her scores even more after that last wave. A very nicely served here from her. And here we can see the Delanois boys. Breathing heavily. Respira. Respira. As they know how close this is for Capucine being a world champion. So here we go. Under four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 7.40 for Jasmina. And looking like might increase ever so slightly here for Capuzin de Lenoir. Currently with a 10.64. 10.64 coming her way. Oh, Jasmina, this is a very nice wave. This is the one she was waiting for. What she got for a big, powerful hack. Can she get past the phone ball and time it right? I reckon she is. Turn number two. Now we're talking. Oh, we got a battle at the end of the heat. Can she make it work all the way down? Already two very nice turns here from her. And just check turns and damage control down the line and see if she can get some extra points. Couple of tail flicks on the flats. But two solid turns there from her. Definitely going to improve on her overall score. Will it be enough? We will soon find out. 3.40 increase is what she is going to need. Capuzin de la 10.80. Increasing that advantage even more. Let's not forget Jasmina only has one more wave. Capuzin here on a wave number seven. Capuzin deciding against it. The family making their way back. 
Checking and hitting that refresh button like no tomorrow. Ninety seconds, ninety seconds, ladies and gentlemen, and it is so close. A five point two three for that last wave there from Jas Jasmina, putting in the work at the end of the heat. Coming up on the final moments here for Capucine de Lenoir. she is in a scoring potential possibility. Jasmina behind us as well. This is going to be the battle. This is going to be the battle as we have both of the athletes out there. Jasmina on the right, Capuzine on the left. Big, powerful hack here from Jasmina. Capuzine two, a better way for Jasmina as it stands in right now. Both of them are fighting in with all teeth and claws as much as possible. Oh, so close, Jasmina. I'm going to say with a better wave. As we're going to have a buzzer beater here at the end. What is it going to be? Capuzine. She knows she has 40 seconds. So Jasmina is waved out. Jasmina has no more waves to be able to get her. She has done 10 waves. And it is going to be a big number. It is going to be a big number here for Jasmina. Capuzine. She is looking at. She needs to get a score. Because I can see some ones coming in here for Jasmina that is going to make the difference. Capuzine here as we come to the final. So she's going to have to go on this wave. She's going to have to go on this wave. So we are going to ride this one in all the way to the shore. Capuzine de Lenoir looking for the victory in this heat to crown herself world champion. Turn number two off the top. That's a better turn here for Capuzine. Hitting it right on the power section. Can she time a third? It looks like she is. Keeping the speeds, foam climb here, but not the way she was looking for. And again, looking to improve over that 5.33. And you can see the face of concern here. While we're waiting for those scores to come in, we are going to see the highlights and the short commercial break. Okay, bye.
so we are waiting for results to come in as it does there you can see the smile on her face ladies and gentlemen it is official it is that jasmine Arunia now is going to be making her way in to the grand final together with sofia abrel so our two finalists Sofia Abrel and Jasmina Ujanao, congratulations there to this young lady. Amazing riding as it means that Capucine Delanois has not sealed off the world championship yet as she has not made it through there to that grand final. It is going to come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Right now on the water, we have heat number three of the men, Hugo Maná, Sebastian Ribeiro, and Nicola Adabjiev. As we continue on with the action here for your day three of the Copa Kite GK Kite Surf World Cup. And there we can see the replay of that last wave there from Sebastiano Ribeiro. And here, Hugo Maram, as we get going here with this heat number three of the men. Coming up next, we will have the mini final of the women, where it is going to be Capuzin Delanois versus Cassiani Rodriguez. If Capuzin wins that heat, she is world champion. If she does not win that heat, other scenarios will open as we continue on here for your Qatar Airway GK Kite World Tour Kite Surf World Cup here in Ibiza, Kenya, your Copper Kite Lee. So waiting for scores to come in so far. Sebastian, Sebastian Ribeiro for 0 0.60. We know we've seen a good wave there from Uga Manin. Here we can see, here we can see Capucine Delanois. All right, so Sebastian Ribeiro dropping in. Here we go, backside. Out there on the blue, new Blur SLS from Duotone. Sebastian Ribeiro, one of my favorite surfers here on tour. You can see he's just getting vertical. Whacking it out. Couple of check turns there for him. So, Hugo Maran, as we're waiting for scores to come in. And here we are at the Iberaquera GK Kite Surf World Cup. And we are live down here from Iberaquera Breach. I'm Joe Siasha. I hope you guys and girls are enjoying the stream so far. In the water, Sebastian Ribeiro, Nicola Dajiev, and Hugo Maran. As at the moment, it is Hugo Maran who has the number one score out here. All right, Ruggio dropping in. Nicola, let's see what he has. Backside athlete here as well.
All right, just a couple of chuck check turns all the way down the wave. And there it is, 8.20 there from Ugo Madana, a 5.50 for that first wave. Great ride in there from him. Ugo Madana, let's not forget this heat. Round number one, so the winner will make their way through to round number three. And the second and third position will be going into round number two. After this heat, we will have the mini final where once again Capucin de Lenoir will have the chance of becoming world champion. And then the grand final in between Jasmine Abujanel and Sofia Abreu. A big congratulations for Jasmine and Sofia for making it into the final heat here. Who is going to be crowned our champion? We will soon find out. You're going to do it. You're really an athlete, really making it go. And also some new kites are going to be coming here from Reading as they've just joined the Brain Child Factory. So they'll be announcing some new toys coming our way very shortly. So make sure to check out Reading Kites, the brand there together with legend Kevin Langre, one of the boys from back in the days. And putting in some amazing equipment. And here you can see their rider, Ugo. Making it look nice and easy out there. Here we can see Sebastian Ribeiro out there with a 12 meter Neo D lap. Ujo out on the 11 meter, the gold religion from RRD. And Ugo Manan, if I'm not mistaken, is out there on the hyper model, the Alula model there from Reedham. Yep, there it is. The hypermodel there from Reno. So the Alula version with the Alula LE leading edge. So all Alula out there on the water for all three of these athletes. We'll just hear nice. All right. Nicola dropping in. First check turn. Nice and easy floater here for him just to get past the foam ball. He's looking at something, but no. Can see that the wave not breaking out in front of him and just doing a few check smaller wave turns as we are just coming up on a little bit more than halfway through. Let's not forget the 18 minute heats. The winner of this heat will be making his way to round number three and the second and third position will be going into your second round. Sebastian Ribeiro at the moment at 8.80, 8 point, so 4.4, 4.80 and at 4.0, your leader so far. Oh, got a beautiful re-entry there from him. And going down the line here, Ugo with some beautiful surfing so far. He has the highest scoring wave as it is. And here, keeping himself busy off the top. Can he keep it together? Yes, he does. Definitely using the kite to make sure to keep going on. So judges will be deducting a little bit there from him. But so far, he is was in the driving seat till the beginning of this heat. And then we can see that wave there from Nikolai Adagiev. Just a couple of 
Just a couple of check turns, closing out in front of him, not what he wanted. And you can see by the lap body language, just not liking what he saw. As we continue on here with this heat, we're just coming up on seven minutes to go. And we continue on at the moment. It is Hugo Marino who has the upper hand with 11.10. Sebastian Ribeiro with an 8.80. .8 Nikola Dajev with 7.93. Let's have a little look at the line that could be appearing here so far. Let's not forget in this round number one. Uh, coming up, we will see uh, Luis Rosa, Luca Duffin, uh, and Gabriel Benetton, uh, Cristiano Roele, uh, Clement Roseo, Hendrik Lopez. Everton Martins, Kelton Lopez, James Carew, Yen Mebrandao, Theo De Manis, Woodley Hall, Marcelo Paraiso, Simao Bilro, and Ayrton Corsolino. That is your round number one here of the men as we are currently in heat number three.
right, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. As it stands, Olga Marin is in the lead. He would be making his way in to that round number three. Where at the moment, Charlie Martin and Arto Moraes have the honor of being out there. All right, Nicola dropping in. If it stands there, it is that second heat. Let's have a little look. All right, so yellow, no flags in the sky, meaning we have one minute, one minute to go. Sebastian Ribeiro hunting for a wave. As we are about to close this out, let's have a look at Sebastian Ribeiro in the red lycra. It looks like he's going to drop in. Here we go. Looking to get past Hugo. Sebastian Ribeiro, big open face hack, going nice and vertical. Foam climb here, keeps the power, moves it again. Another one right on the wave. The difference with him is you can see he doesn't use the kite barely. He surfs it all the way in. Sebastian, four nice turns. Looking for a finisher. Ugo also answering back as he does not want to lose that lead. And we are going to be coming to the end of the heat after this wave. Who is going to be going in first position? We will have to wait until after the highlights. Big smack there from Ugo at the very end of that wave. And while we're waiting for those results to come in, let's go to the highlights of that last heat. And welcome back, everybody, as we go into the mini final here of your Copper Kite League GK Kite Surf World Cup in Ibiza, Guerra, down here in Brazil. Information out here if Capucin wins this heat, she is world champion. If she doesn't win this heat and Kessiani wins this heat, we will have to wait to see until the end of the contest who is going to be that top athlete. At the moment there, you can see both of them in the water. 12 and 11 meter kite on the left-hand side. Capucin Delanois there with the red north on the right-hand side. There we could see Kessiani Rodriguez with the green north. Here we can see our Spanish James Bond, Juan Antonio Aragon. Our race director and here some of the wing athletes. Manuel Genole on the left, the winner of the event. Clement Ramon there in the middle and Xavier Cor on the right. As they're coming down to see the finals. Out the back there we can see one of the whales saying hi, giving us a little hello. All right, so action on mini final here on the water. Watch out, who is it going to be? All right, two big turns here for Cassiani already. Let's not forget Cassiani is in second position on the overall rank and she does not want to give this to Capuzin. As Kessiani wants to continue on and keep her World Championship title race possibilities alive. Kapuzin wants to close this out. Had the opportunity to close it out in the previous heat, but unfortunately did not get the win over Jasmine Abujanao. Meaning that this is the chance. 18, 20 minutes of action. 20 minutes of action.
Here we can see the girls, Sofia, Daniela, and Camille. Always a smile. That's what we like. Our beautiful athletes here enjoying the Brazilian vibes. As we continue on here for your third day of competition, and then we have Sofia saying ho and hey as we get ready. Ah, get the picture, get the picture. <laughs> and there we can see as waiting for scores to come in. Already f two ways each. And Nicola just going out in front of her. You can see the new gold religion from Roberta Ricci Designs. Ah, oh, future champion. Future champion. The new generation down here. Two new generations. Watch out. As they are getting ready. <laughs> Everybody coming down here. The families to check out the world championship. 15 minutes to go. 20 minute heats. Let's not forget. Capuzin Delanois, Kessiani Rodriguez, your top two on the overall ranking. Capuzin Delanois leading. If she wins this heat, she is world champion. Waiting for that set wave. All right, going for the first. Couple check turns. You can see the wave really flat. Not getting a face at all, but just making the most out of it. Seeing if when it hits that inside sandbank, it will give her a little bit of a face to be able to get the old schmackaroo on. And Capuzin as we mentioned before, just doing damage control. All of these athletes. We saw some rides there from Cassiani. And waiting for scores to be introduced here. All right, so 2.53 there for the first wave of Capucine. Cassiani Rodriguez, a 4.40 for that first wave of her. So the upper hand so far leaning. Eee, just losing that back foot there for Cassiani. As we have two waves a pair, so two waves each. Waiting for final numbers to be dropped for each one of these athletes. Waiting for set waves. They have 20 minutes. Let's not forget 20 minutes. The top two waves will count. 10 wave attempts for each one of the athletes. In the white, Kessiani Rodriguez. In the red, Capuzin de la Noire. And still waiting for scores as it looks like some adjustments are being made. <laughs> and here we can see Jasmina as she gets ready for her final. And she is ready to go in. 
Looking concentrated. Capo Sin Delara, 633, 3.80, 2.53. Kessiani Rodriguez, 4.40, 0 0.83. You can see the wells in the background. Oh, nice wave here for Capucin de Lenoir. First check turn. A little bit off the back. Needs to get back into the power zone. Here we go. Now it's time to check up. Nice timing here from Capucin. Big hack. Keeping the speed down the line. Linking it into another one. Not being able to quite get up to the top. Can she get the third? Yes, she does. Better wave there from Capucin. And it looked like Kessiani maybe was going to be dropping in on one a little further out. Let's see the replay here. Just went off the back, using the kite to get back on as it did flatten out. Didn't quite get as, as steep as she expected. But then here, two nice turns from Capucin. I mean, all athletes really just working and milking as much as they can with the conditions they have out here at hand. And a finisher here for Capucin. That'll be her wave number three. Let's go back to the action and see. As it looks like Kessiani is dropping in on a wave. And now the athletes are starting to get very close. As I can see, numbers coming up here on the scoreboards that they are pretty much trading off in between the two of them. I mean, let's not forget Kessiani Rodriguez, 19.07 back there in Dakla. It was a 9.57 and a 9.50 for both of her ways. One of the best hits we've seen in the history of this tour. Capuzin Delonar, she's been a multiple world champion. She is in the driving seat because if she wins this heat... She will be world champion. If she loses this heat, we will have to see until the end of the event. The battle of the title race out here on the competition area as they are near the downwind mark. All right, Capucin de Lenoir dropping in again, looking to improve on her scores. First, nicely timed turn. Going into the second, the wave completely flattening out. She's going to have to wait. Be patient. Keep herself close to that foam board to see if she can actually get a little bit of her face. But it is flattening out, to say the least. And just making a couple of little dribble turns here because that wave was giving her nothing. Selection is so important when these conditions are hard. And I'm looking at what seems to be a new score is going to be coming in here for Capucin Delanois. So as it stands, it is Delanois in the lead over Kessiani Rodriguez. Kessiani. Oh, we got some motion here. Here we go. Kessiani Rodriguez dropping in. Nice wave here for her. Great selection. Just misses that section. Is she able to get her past it? She's going to be looping it twice. And unfortunately, messing, missing the steep section of that wave. And she's just basically straight lining it and going down the line. Such a shame because it did have scoring potential, that one. Seven minutes to go. Look how close this is. 0 .0, 0 0.5 of a point. 8.0, 7.5. Anybody's game. Both of these athletes more than capable of getting four, five, and six plus rides. It is all going to come down to those final moments. At the, we stand, it is Capucine Delanois who is in the lead. Oh, it is going to be close. We knew there was going to be a battle. We've seen it time and time after with these two athletes. As they have been fighting for the lead all the way through the tour. And at the moment, it is your mini final out here on the water. And if Capucin Delanar wins, 
She will be the champion. All right, six minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Six minutes. Waiting for a set. Both of them know it needs to be a set wave. Kessiani, she's seen something. She's powering for something. Here we go. Kessiani Rodriguez looking to improve on a 3.10. Need to improve by 0 0.51 if she wants to take that lead. Nice wave here. Phone climb. Goes down the line. Keeps the speed, which is what the judges are loving about Kessiani. She really does keep the speed throughout the whole ride. Looping again. Oh, good timing. Just getting caught out by the lip there, Kessiani, unfortunately. <laughs> Capucine de la Noir. Looks like there's a little bit more motion behind her, to be honest. Is she going to be going on this one? It looks like she is. All right, so Capucine de la Noir. Looking to move over 3.80. All right, here we go. Couple seen. Couple turns. Little tailback, but just no power. The wave flat getting caught out there. So 4.40. And a 3.10 so far for Kessiani. We got a 3.80 and a 4.20 for Capuzin Kessiani here. Better wave selection this time. Nice big hack. No! Almost misses out. What a shame. That was could have been one of the best turns we've seen of the day. As that wave did completely open for her. So Kessiani damage control on this set wave. What a shame as that is probably one of the best scoring potential waves we've seen so far, and she is definitely going to be frustrated about this. All right, so now, Capucine de la she is going to have to get a groove on, as Kersiani is coming up very, very close, and she knows she wants to have this World Championship title. We will have to find out. Here we can see the athletes getting ready. As they're starting to go, as our male athletes are going to be coming into the water very shortly. Leonardo Granjero there. All right, so waiting for numbers, ladies and gentlemen, to drop. Waiting for numbers as it is close. We're approaching the final three minutes. Oh, looks like Capucine there might have a wave. Looks like we might have a wave here from Capucine. All right, Capucine de la Noire, here we go. This is a good set wave. Good first turn, lets it loose, keeps it together. Just as when it's flat, it's very hard to whip that ball back around. She goes out in front, times that nicely off the top. Great surfing here from Capucine. She wants to seal the deal. Three good turns. That is a better wave here from Capucine de la Noire. And there you can see that replay there, just oh, such a saying, Cassiani not being able to get the turns. And it looks like Capulcine also, beautiful score is going to be coming her way this way. If you can see, just off the top, slides that tail and brings it back early as she knew it could cost her this wave. And then it's these next two turns, nice and fluid, powering through the fins, setting that rail. There's one. And then here for the finisher straight away in that wave, just... Getting up ever so nicely for her. So three good hacks there from Capucine de la Noire. That could be the nail in the coffin. It could be the nail in the coffin. And there we can see our finalists going into the water. Sofia Abreu on the right-hand side, your North athlete with the 11 meters coming from Brazil. And Jasmine Abujanao on the left-hand side coming from Australia with the D-Lab as they get ready to go. And let's go back to the mini final action because we could have a world champion be coming our way. Less than 90 seconds, less than 90 seconds.
Kersiani on the set wave. Now we're talking. Big wave here from her. Important moment because she needs to get back. Because you can see Capuzine Delanois with a 10.47. She is so close. She can see the World Championship title. She can feel it. She can taste it. Kersiani answering back here off the top. Oh, it's a battle once again to the final moments of the buzzer. Both of these athletes, Capuzin. Nice finisher there for her. As it stands, a 6.27, a 4.20, 10.47 for Capuzin de la Noire. Kersiani Rodriguez, a 4.40, 3.10, 7 7.5 total. Waiting for the score of this last wave. Has she done enough to hold the French athlete off? We will soon find out. As that is going to be it for both of these athletes. But while we're waiting for those scores to come in, we are going to see the highlights and be ranked back. Do we have a new world champion? Okay, bye. And welcome back, everybody, as we cut that one short because this young lady here is the new world champion, Capucine Delanois, winning that heat, meaning she is going to be the world champion here for your Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour Kite Surf Discipline. Congratulations here to this young French athlete and the French flag flying high. A little bleu, a little France. Congratulations there to her. And there we can see the father, tears in the eyes as her daughter is world champion. The number one, Capucine Delanois. And while we're waiting to see her, we are going to go out to the action as we have our grand final is on the water in between Sofia Abreu and Jasmina Bujanao as we get can continue on who is going to be the champion Himini Bidakera we will soon find out All right, so as it stands, waiting for scores to be dropping for these two. We will see the reactions, the hype, the vibes, and the smile from Capucine Delanois very shortly as she is the champion. There we can see her on our screen. Flinch flag is high. Get it up in the air. There she is, Capucine Delanois, ladies and gentlemen. The new uh, GKA Kite World Tour World Champion here of the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour. Incredible. There she is, Ale La France. Ah, le, le, bleu.
Congratulations here from the team as we will be hearing from her very shortly. But we are now going to go out to the action as the grand final is on the water. All right, so both of these athletes on the water, Sofia Abreu, the Brazilian champion. We have Jasmine Abreu, who is coming in from Australia, as waiting to see who is going to be the number one here in Ibirakera. But that lady on the left-hand side of your screen, Capucine Delanois, your new world champion, CCCCC. Congratulations to her on some amazing riding throughout the whole season as she has taken third place here at the Brazilian event, which has secured herself being number one in the world. Her path was she was second in Cape Verde, first in Silt, second in Dakla, and with the closing of a third position, Himini Bidakera, she has secured herself yet another world championship title. On the water, look at that. We can see Jasmina with a 7.0, and there it is. Smiles and vibes all the way along. And that is the image. There is the family. Bravo, bravo, Hankrayav. As the Delanoi family putting yet another title, another trophy in the cupboards. And we continue on with the action out here. Sofia Brau with a beautiful set wave. Couple of nice turns there from her. She's playing catch up at the moment because I tell you what, Jasmina is here and she is here to play. 15.0, 15.0 for Jasmina Mujanel. As we're waiting to see as those waves will be coming out of. Look at this. Powerful off the top. Nice little floater here for her. Another linking those turns together. This is what we have been seeing from Jasmina. Just going all the way down the line. And look at it. Keeping the speed. As this is going to be that last wave from her. Her third wave. And some beautiful turning here. As she is your current number one. Out in this heat. In this grand final for the Ibida Kena Copa Kaitni GK Kite Surf World Cup. <laughs> Boom! Floater again. So Jasmina at the moment with a 15.0. This young lady has already set in a couple of huge scores. And she's here to battle, and she is here to keep it going. Sofia Abreu is going to have to bring out all of the feats if she wants to be able to get this one in the bag. Here we can see the replay of that last wave. And she just keeps, I mean, she keeps the power and just keeps rocking it all the way down. And I mean, you know, that last, that third wave, a 6.50. Okay, Sofia Abreu here. Mid-face turn, goes down. Can she get the timing? Yes, she does. Three nice hacks here for Sofia. Answering back. As I mentioned before, she needs to get two big scores. An eight and a seven. She's already comboed out as it is. Oh, 
All right, so waiting for that last score from uh, Sofia. It's going to improve, but it's not going to be enough yet. She has comboed out Jasmina an eight and a seven. All right, so both of them out the back waiting for those sets to come in. The third wave of Jasmina was a s looking like she might even improve her score yet. She is throwing down as judges loving what they see. At the moment, Sofia Abrel waiting for another number to come away, but she is going to have to work if she wants to get this as we have 10 more minutes, so halfway through, plenty of time. Let's not forget, top two waves count. 10 minutes, so there's plenty of time for two sets to come through. Sofia looking at the sets, getting in front of her, making sure she has first pick. She's going to uncombo herself from what I can see, but she needs to improve. I mean, 15.0, that is a huge feat there. You can see a 6.50, about an 8.10 from Jasmina. 16.10, that is the biggest score we have seen in this competition so far. And I'm just double checking because I got a feeling it is the biggest score we have seen of both the women or the men's side of the competition so far. Jasmina, the underdog from Oz, absolutely proving a point out here as she already has an 8 and an 8.10. That is what I call a big combination score. And she is your current leader. And she ain't letting off. Look at this. Wave after wave. Turn after turn. Hack after hack. All the way down the line. And Jasmina commanding leads out here for your grand final of the Copper Kite, the GK Kite Surf World Cup. Seven and a half minutes, seven and a half minutes as they're waiting for a set. I mean, we've been seeing about three to four sets on average through these seats. So kind of like every five to six minutes, a set is coming through. Sophia, she needs, she needs two scores. She needs to improve two scores because she is in a combo situation right now. She needs to get that the next wave in the next two or three minutes, if she can get on one of those set waves, to get into the eights or nines if she wants to have a chance as Jasmina has put in the groundwork early on in this heat. Representing Australia and do a tone here. You can see on the right-hand side in the red lycra, your current heat leader, Jasmina Bougenau, who has been on fire during the whole event. Day number one, she set the highest score with that 13.67. Day number two, it was not out on the water. And here for day number three, 16.10, the highest heat score of both the women and the men. She means, means business. She meant to come for the win, and she is putting it all out on the table right now. Your current heat leader, Jasmina Bujanel. Looks like a set wave there for Sofia. Here we can see all of the athletes. There's Luana. We can see 
Simone and Clemence. Bon tarde, bon dia, bon dia. The athletes representing, supporting their fellow team mates and fellow competitors. It's a huge family vibe out here in Brazil, which is so cool. All right, wave for wave. On the right, Jasmina. On the left, Sofia. What have they got? Little wobble there from Jasmina, missing that section. Wave is looking better. Ooh, but powering out. Jasmina really power hacks it all the way along. Look, sets that rail, opens the shoulder. A little bit on the flats, that one, obviously. But this wave, picking it off very nicely. It looks like it's getting steeper. Are we going to be seeing finish it? Yes, we are. Boom! Here for Jasmina. Can we get another one? Nope. So another nice wave there for Jasmina, but not going to be improving on that score. Here we can see the Brazilian crew. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? That's Kissiani Rodriguez there, also checking out the scores. What we do know so far is that Kessiani Rodriguez will be fourth. Capuzin de la Noire will be third and is our new world champion. And the battle for first and second position here on the water. All right, Sofia. This is a nice wave. Starting to form up nicely. Here we go. Two good turns. That is better. Big hack here from Sofia. Answering back. This is what she wanted. This is what she needs. And off the top of there with those three beautiful turns here from Sofia. Let's see if that's going to put her back into contention. As the 16.10 is a huge score to be pursuing with just over four minutes to go. All right, there we can see Gabriel Benetton getting ready. Sebastian Ribeiro. And Gili Brandao. Gili Brandao, one of the Brazilian godfathers when it comes to wave riding, competing back in our days. The days of the KPWT and the PKRA. One of the top Brazilian kite surfers of the last few decades. And great to see him coming back into action out here in the competition. Has a really cool kite score just behind the, this location, so make sure to check that one out. As we continue on here with our grand final. And three minutes to go, Abrel with a 6.50 and it's looking like the next one is not going to improve it either so it's going to improve on a backup spoil but it ain't going to be enough to be putting any damage on the overall jasmina at the moment leading here you can see 12.47 ah uh, the boys are getting ready to play the boys are getting ready to play as they know they are coming out here on the water as we prepare for the next heats to be coming our way. It's going to be Salsa, Lugadafin, and Gabriel Benetton. So the, the Aussie against the two Brazilians. Huge Brazilian feats here at this event and so talented these guys as they have surfing in their veins and they are on home turf. But at the moment... The final of our women's, it is Jasmina now from Australia who has the upper hand as we have less than two minutes to go. All right, so waiting to see if there are some 
Set's going to be coming their way. Your final here for the Copa Kite, the GKA Kite Surf World Cup here in Brazil, in Ibiraquera, of the Qatar Airways GKA Kite World Tour. Flags are down, less than a minute. All right, Sofia trying to make her way here on this wave. She's deciding to go for it with 45 seconds on the clock. But she is comboed. No matter what she does, she is comboed at the moment. So we can pretty much say that it is going to be Jasmina who is going to get the win as Sofia is comboed out here on the water. So this athlete here, Jasmina Bujanao, she has done enough because Sofia Abreu, she has comboed out. Even if she had a 10 on that last wave, it would just be. Will we see as waiting for those scores to come in? It would have had to be a high nine if it was going to be Sofia's, which I don't think it is going to be as she comes off of the water. And we can safely say, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be this lady who is going to be the winner here in Ibedaquera. Congratulations to Jasmina. She has won your Copper Kite Lee GKA Kite Surf World Cup. Get that kite down and get herself up on as we have a winner. Aussie, 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 ladies and gentlemen. There it is. There's the face. There's the smile. Congratulations. Jasmine Manau is the champion here in Brazil. First position with an incredible 